Task controller is the ability to automatically control sections of an implement based on boundaries or already applied areas of the field. It is also required if a user is wanting to do a variable rate application based off a prescription map. In this case, an additional license is also required, which is prescriptions. If you want to task control an implement with more than one channel, you'll also require the multi-product control license. The XEN 750 display has the ability to control a maximum of two channels. The XEN 1050 display has the ability to control a maximum of four channels. And the XEN 2050 display has the ability to control a maximum of six channels. Without the multi-product control license, each display is limited to control one channel. To configure and implement with Task Controller, make sure you have the appropriate license installed, then enable Task Controller in the Precision IQ settings. With Task Controller enabled, you should get a notification on the display that the ECU has been recognised and connected. Setting Enable Automatic ISO Configuration Updates should be enabled so that the implement settings are automatically captured from the ECU during the implement setup process. With this enabled, if you change a measurement or a setting in the ECU itself, the corresponding implement setting within PIQ will automatically be updated. With this setting disabled, you will manually have to enter in and make sure that the implement settings match that of your ISOBUS ECU. Before attempting to create your new implement using Task Controller, verify that both the object pool and the Task Controller has loaded correctly into the display. To do this, navigate to the Diagnostics and select ISOBUS Task Controller. Any connected ECU will be displayed here and you will need to verify that the TC pool has loaded correctly before you can create your implement. Once you have verified that the Object Pool and Task Controller pool has loaded correctly, begin the process of creating a new implement. When selecting the application device, if your ISOBUS ECU is Task Controller compliant, you will see it listed in the available devices. If more than one ECU is needed to be configured for your implement, select the ECU that you want to be displayed as the primary channel. Press the next arrow and continue the configuration of your implement. Once the ECU connects, basic information such as the implement type and widths will pre-populate some of your implement settings. Verify that the operation type has been selected correctly for your application. Use the next arrow to continue the implement setup. During your implement setup, you will notice that measurements such as width and hitch to ground contact point are greyed out and not editable. This is due to the measurements being populated from the ECU's setup itself. The application control will display the selected ISO ECU. If there is an additional ECU that is needed to control on this implement, you can use the Add button here. Use the spanner icon to verify and edit the control settings for each channel and each ECU. Just like setting up other rate control systems, you will have the option of naming your channel. You can also specify whether this channel is to be displayed as the primary channel. The material type should match that of the material type selected in the ECU itself. Any implement application offsets will self-populate from the ISO ECU setup. Likewise with the number of sections and section widths. You can choose to turn off either rate or section control and manually operate this through the universal terminal itself. You have the ability of recording the as applied coverage layer based off different criteria. The coverage logging which you see on the display and the as applied data that can be logged into the display can be captured in two ways. The first way is turning on and off the coverage map you see based on the message sent back from the ECU as a confirmation to the Precision IQ task controller on a reported state. Sometimes there can be a delay in this message. The second way we can record coverage is turning on and off what you see on the display based on the message sent from the Precision IQ task controller to the ECU itself. If you are noticing delays in the response status sent back from the ECU, resulting in coverage data not being recorded correctly, you can choose from the following options. 
Setting to command states is referring to the coverage logging being based off Precision IQ task controller message sent. This will mean that the coverage logging or rate adjustment displayed on the Precision IQ app and logged as the coverage data is based off the message sent to the ECU via the task controller. You would use this for a controller that is slow to respond with its status message back to the task controller. Commanded state plus work state will also look at the state of the master switch used in the Precision IQ app and base coverage logging off of it rather than the reported status of the master switch in the ECU itself. Setting to reported states is going to record the coverage logging based on the ECU's section status message sent back to the task controller, but record the as applied flow data based on the message sent from the task controller to the ECU. You will use this in a situation where the reported section status from an ECU is working correctly, but the reported flow is delayed. Selecting reported states and work states is going to base the coverage logging off the ECU's reported status as well as the overall status of the work switch, i.e. master switch. The as applied flow data will be recorded based off the Precision IQ task controller's message sent. You will use this option when the overall work status and section status is sufficient but the as applied flow data is delayed. Selecting Applied flow state is going to record the coverage based off the status message sent back from the ECU for both sections and applied flow data, but the overall work state, such as a master switch, will still be recorded based off the Precision IQ task controller's message sent. As applied flow plus work state is going to base coverage logging on the section status and applied flow data and the overall work status message sent back from the ECU to the Precision IQ task controller. This would be the most common setting and used for ECUs that report their status message back in a timely manner. Use the arrow to continue the setup. Your implement width or section widths should self-populate from the measurements applied in the ECU itself. Use the next arrow to configure the latencies and overlap control. For an explanation on overlap and latency setup, please refer to the Virtual Rate Section Control or Field IQ setup videos. The Summary tab will provide an overview of the control channel's configurations. If all these configured settings are correct, press the check mark and repeat this process for any other channels that may be part of this implement setup. Once all channels are configured correctly, use the next arrow to configure any remote logging switch that is connected. In most situations, the task controller will control the logging of coverage on the display. Continue to configure your implement's next swath setup if needed until you get to the ISO logging section. You can choose whether or not you want the as applied data to be logged in an ISO XML data format. Enabling this will create a folder that can be exported to a USB in an ISO XML format. View your summary tab and use the check mark to confirm and save your settings for this implement. Before you can use your new implement and task controller, you will also need to create a material and assign this to the appropriate channels. When creating and assigning materials, you will need to make sure that the material type created matches that of the material type that is used in the location setup. With an implement created with task controller, you now have the ability of turning on and off the task controller in the diagnostics page. Turning task controller off will enable you to use the implement, but no task controller will be active. Under the Application Control tab in Diagnostics, you have the ability to adjust any of the start and end overlaps, as well as the latency for accurate section control. When using ISOBUS Task Controller, the default screen layout will appear like this. Simply double tapping the terminal will give you a full screen view of the universal terminal itself. Double tapping the coverage map will give you a full screen view of the coverage map. Alternatively, you can use the plus symbols in the top left corner of the window. If you have a camera attached and connected to the display, you can change the view by pressing the button in the top right corner of the terminal. The flow and application controls on the run screen are displayed the same as if they were running Field IQ or any other flow control device. By default, all channels configured will be displayed in one view. To view the individual rate or section status for a particular channel, tap on the channel you want to view. To adjust rate on a particular channel, you can either do this through the universal terminal itself 
or the task controller which is built into the Precision IQ app. To use the inbuilt task controller function, simply select the channel that you want to adjust and use the increase or decrease buttons the same way as you would if using field IQ or serial rate control. If you are running the XEN display in conjunction with any other ISO compliant display, providing they are on the same CAN bus, you have the option to disable the universal terminal but keep task controller running. This will allow an operator to have the universal terminal now displayed on the secondary display while task controller is still being performed from the Precision IQ application. To do this, you may need to make sure that the secondary display is switched off in the initial setup process to have both the universal terminal and task controller object pools loaded to the XEN display. Once the implement setup is completed and controls are verified, you can turn off the universal terminal in the Precision IQ app but leave the task controller enabled. Reboot both the XCN display and the secondary display, making sure that the ECU and the vehicle itself have had a power cycle. If set up correctly, you should now see the universal terminal displayed on the secondary display with the task controller functions still operating through.